Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Nathan Robert. Today, we're going to be looking at the differences between Jeppy and JEPQ, two very popular dividend ETFs among the retail investors because they pay a really high dividend yield and we get paid monthly, which is just awesome. And I actually break down everything on a whiteboard later in this video. Uh, it's super easy to understand. I also went into Webull and added all 102 stocks in the Jeppy stock. Uh, ETF and we're going to be looking at all the different holdings in there at the end of the video. So yeah, if you guys could find this video helpful or useful, I'd really appreciate if you guys leave a like for me and subscribe if you're new. I'm trying to get to 1k subs and yeah, let's just get straight into the video. All right guys, now we're on the whiteboard. So here I have the Jeppy ETF and here's JEPQ. In each of the past five months, I've written down each month's dividend payment. So five months ago, it was 57 cents. And in the most recent month, they paid out 44 cents. And I've just duplicated everything on both sides. So it's super easy to see the difference. So over here is the actual share price of Jeppy as of right now and today. Um, and here's it for JEPQ. And so with this per share, you will get $6.67 yearly per share. So with that same math, if you just invested $1 fractionally into Jeppy, you would get 12.1 cents a month, I guess. And over here with JEPQ, you would, for $1, you would get 14 and a half cents per dollar invested, which you start seeing uh, that dividend yield difference right here. As you can see, the yield here is 12.1% for Jeppy and JEPQ is 14.52%. As you know, every month it's different. So the best way to really guess how much it's going to be is just by averaging them all of them together and with this market volatility it really helps out Jeppy and JEPQ's strategy because the market doesn't just keep on going up it's actually been fluctuating up and down and for covered call ETFs that's really good and over here I've also done a little bit of breakdown of shares and how much you'll get per month so if you own 12 shares of Jeppy you would get six dollars and 67 cents a month or if you had 89 shares you would get 49 dollars and if uh, for this one, you would only get $46 and $6 and 62 cents. So yeah, you can kind of see the difference there. So yeah, Jeppy on average a month will pay you 0.558 cents per share a month. And JEPQ it's 0.55, or no, sorry, 522 a month. But you're saying that one's less. Yeah, because well, the share price is over $10 cheaper than uh, Jeppy and you're getting more per month or well, not more, but you know, just about the same. So Jeppy and JEPQ, while they do the same strategy, they actually have completely different holdings in terms of what they actually sell covered calls on. Jeppy has more of the safe, low volatility stocks that don't move as much. JEPQ has more tech heavy things that like to move like sometimes more than 5% in one day. On these stocks right here, like Johnson & Johnson, Abby, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, you know, these are all very safe stocks. That aren't really going to move as much and literally look at all these socks none of these are real risky like progressive progressive is the largest holding but um yeah all these are not really speculative tech stocks you know these are all very safe stocks that don't really move that much and uh, are going to be here for a long time while JEPQ has uh, some more you know tech related stocks all right, guys, so now I'm going to show you the QQQ and how the recent price action is actually helping give you dividends as the shareholder in Jeppy and JEPQ. So if you don't know, covered calls, the way you lose out on them or lose money is if the stock or the underlying asset just keeps going up, keeps going to the moon, you know? And as you can see, every time we've kind of had that price action, we've gone back down. Whenever that happens, it's actually really good for covered call strategies because you know, the way you lose out is if it just keeps going up. And even if it just stays flat, this is really good for covered call strategies. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you learned something new or just like my perspective, I'd really appreciate if you guys leave a like for me and subscribe if you're new. I just made a portfolio update yesterday. So if you want to see what's in my portfolio that's worth $12,000, check out this video up here. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one.